This is the Object 261. This is a Russian Tier 10 SPG, and the map is Cliff. This is a really cool game. We're working on a mission, which is Union 9, Hunt for Heavies. Uh, do 2,000 damage to enemy heavy tanks and destroy two enemy heavy tanks. I am going to complete this mission in this game. I'm going to do at least 3,500 damage that's reported in-game. Let's see who the first target's going to be. We've got a Kronwagen. Got 350 damage on the Kronwagen. So because I need to damage heavy tanks, I am going to be looking for heavy tanks. And as you can see, there are around nine on the enemy team. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine heavy tanks on the enemy team. So it's very easy to get 2,000 damage on nine heavy tanks. Maybe I could do it in five or six shots. It's, it's really, um, with the SPG, uh, you're going to get like 250 damage average per vehicle with the tier 10 SPG as it is with the current HE um, settings because they are talking about changing the way HE works. This is being recorded in February of 2020. Uh, these 60 TPs, you know, they're really good players and they're really good tanks. Unfortunately, they're not really good at not being in a place where I can hit them easily. So I'm going to just keep hitting those 60 TPs over and over and over. He and his buddy, they're both going to line up to take their punishment. I am going to do some blind firing in this game, and I'm going to get some kills on some enemy tanks. I don't know if they're really going to be blind shots or if they're going to be unspotted. I really don't remember, but uh, it's going to be worth looking at. I am also going to run out of ammunition in this game. And you can see the amazing tactic that I tried. So you would think, you know, if you run out of ammunition, you've really got three choices. Number one, hide somewhere and stay alive in case the enemy um, is hunting down the, you as the last tank. That's one option. Number two, a try to cap is another option. And number three, go scout or spot for your team. Those are your three options. And I thought, you know, my team is not advancing they don't really have that many hit points. I would go scout for them. And I actually was able to pull in some damage for my team by scouting at the end. Uh, but then what happened after that made me think maybe I should not have scouted for my team. Maybe I should have done a little bit more with my zero ammo to try and help them win the game. Because there's going to be like five minutes left in the game, I suppose. You see all these tanks are lined up over here. I'm going to see the rear armor, which means I'm going to be able to hit their engine. My advice is to actually aim for the engine in that situation. Ideally, you want to hit that engine. <laughs> you see, I was spotted here, uh, so I dove over the side. The reason why is because there is an Udus in the, the middle hill. But I'm going to be safe over here. The enemy SPG is not going to find me. And he does have a long reload, so he might be reloading. So I had lots of shots on those 60 TPs. I'm up to 1,220 damage. Only need a little bit more to get up to the 2,000 mark. And I, like I said, I will get two kills later in the game as the enemy advances. You see that my team is coming around on the east side. I guess they're going to fail because there's going to come a point where they're just not going to be there anymore. And then the enemy is going to end up coming around the east side. Watch this shot. You think I'm going to hit him? I don't know. It looks like I just barely missed them. It's important to practice using the alternative aim mode. I am knocking the trees down. I know that the enemy SPG could be watching me, but I'm knocking them down horizontally so I can hide behind them if I need to. Look like I could have gotten double damage. They were spotted, and I didn't see any reports of any damage done. But like I said, I am going to complete Union 9 Hunt for Heavies. I completed almost all of the second campaign missions using SPGs. There is one group which might actually be Union, I'm not sure. There is one of the sets that's more difficult uh, for SPGs, but not impossible. So you can see I was spotted. And I was a little bit worried, and I'm going to head for the cliff over here. 
which means it's going to be a little bit more difficult for them to fire at me. But I did notice that the enemy really didn't do anything, so I decided to reposition towards these houses, which is going to solve the issue. Now it doesn't matter if they spot me because I'm going to be behind uh, these buildings. My allies are starting to thin out on the east side over there. Only 43 hit points. I am getting closer. I decided that I did want to be closer. When you're closer, the shot gets there sooner, and it aims more accurately. I was really confused about all those explosions that I saw over there. wasn't sure what that was. Maybe that was an enemy SPG firing in at me. See, we got two planes flying overhead, scouting us out. Those are obviously recon planes. Missed my shot on that. You see there's a grill over there in the back. Look at that grill. Guess what's going to happen? If there's no splash, what does it mean? What does it mean if there's no splash? Well, what does it mean if I don't fire? So I didn't fire at the grill, but I know he's there, and we're going to get a second chance at him. That was 348 on the 60 TP. As I stated earlier, a lot of the damage I do is going to be against those 60 TPs. They never really wisened up. I kept hitting them there again and again and again. Got a couple choices. That was 280 damage on the 50 TP and 589 stun damage. I'm already up to 2200 damage. And I believe it was all on heavy tanks. So I did accomplish... Uh, 2,000 damage. I just got to get two kills now. So my team did withdraw finally from the east side. Which means that the enemy is going to come around. And because they're going to be low on hit points, I believe I'm going to get three kills in this game. So I got one. Just need to get one more. Got a potential right there. It's not. It might not be him. I think it's going to be the Panzer Comp Wagon and the 60 TP. This has got to be the blind shot on the grill. Remember, if there's no splash, that means I hit him. And I figured that was a nice central shot. So if he's either on the right or on the left, it looks like I hit him. I didn't see a splash. Don't know how much damage I did. You know, I really didn't check the after game stats, but I'm sure that that was a hit. Got 2,400 damage reported in game. I believe that my... Total at the end of the game is going to be 3,500, but I don't know if that's the total damage uh, for the game. If it says in the title how much damage I did, that's how much damage I did. So I'm up to 2,700 damage, 700 stun. You see that the 60 TP has come around the side, and the Panzer Comp Wagon, he's also coming around the side there. And guess what? They're one shots. Good for me, not good for them. So he is unspotted. I'm probably going to be able to take him out. I only got three rounds left. I really was unaware of how low I was on ammo. I may have held that shot if I was aware of how low I was. Because six minutes left in the game is enough for 12 shots, and I've only got three left. That was 222 damage for a total of 2,900. And I got two more shots left. So we got the grill 15. You see he's using an amazing tactic. The weakly armored grill against the E100. Super heavy. Got 291 damage on that grill. So I got one more shot left, and I didn't realize at this point that I only had one more shot left. This vehicle reloads pretty quickly, 25-second reload. So you obviously when you have a vehicle that reloads quickly, you do have to be aware of the fact that you can run out of ammo. And you got to conserve your shots and aim them better. So I did destroy the grill, 340 damage. 
got 3,600. This is the point where I realized I had no more ammo left. I noticed it wasn't reloading. No, actually, this is probably the point where I realized I had no more ammo left. Okay, so at some point I'm going to realize I have no ammo. I'm going to put a message into my team. Surprise, surprise. Oh, you know what? I still think I have ammo, don't I? Okay, this is it. So I decided... I, you know, I'm not the type of person who runs and hides. I'm the type of person, you know, I want to play the game. When I say I play for fun, that's what I mean. You know, I don't care about winning and kills and damage. I want to play. And hiding to me is not a tactic that's fun to play. I mean, if it would be one thing if it was like 15, 14 versus 1 or something, then I would hide. But in this case, you can see I ran out to do a spotting run. And the grill did hit me, but I believe he's going to take some damage because of that you see he's got full hit points right there okay maybe not the best that i did was we now know that the grill was there i don't think he was spotted earlier and you know what it's like i said there's three and a half minutes left in the game and i thought okay we got to finish these guys off so i got to rush out here this is a relatively fast tank i'm telling my allies how much hit points everybody has because like the grill on my team he's not going to know the hit points of all these vehicles so i'm typing it in chat as best as i can but what i could have done you know i could have uh come around up onto here up under the upper level and around the back over here and then tried to spot them i didn't realize that my team was just gonna camp We're going to see a little bit more campiness. I'm going to tell you we're not going to win this game. So the grill has 38 hit points, and you'd think he'd be easy to finish off. The E3, he really can hide. He's got 574, and the Panzer Comp Wagon can't hide. He's got nothing to hide behind. So here's our hero, the grill 15. I'm trying to see if he can have a clear shot on that E3. I'm assuming that he does, but for some reason he doesn't. He didn't fire. And there's only 1 minute 42 left in the game. Now, I don't have this vehicle, but my understanding, German guns in general aim very quickly. And you're noticing that he's really indecisive here. Minute 14 left in the game. All they got to do is take out these remaining two tanks. And this Panzer Kampfwing, and he's out in the open. And, you know, he's not getting into position. He almost flips. And everybody is expecting him to do something. And watch what happens. He's going to aim in. And he misses. And he's going to reload. And he's going to aim in again. And he misses again. And there's only 20 seconds left in the game. You see what I'm talking about? I don't think I'm the one who threw this game, but they really needed me. I really had more faith in these guys. That time he takes them out. And the E3 is left with 74 hit points, and that's the game. And it ends up being a draw. Score was 14 to 12. The in-game says I did 3,600 damage and 1,400 stun. If you wait one second, we're going to find out if we have a screenshot. It's going to take more than one second. I'm going to look up all of my games, see if we got one on Cliff. I didn't think I did. Yeah, I don't think it. Okay, I don't think I have anything on Cliff. Okay, these are all other games. Okay, so that's the game. If you have any questions or comments, please post below. And please post everything I did wrong about sewer scouting and how I'm never supposed to do it. And about how I should have brought more rounds or whatever. 
Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitch and subscribe to my YouTube channel.